Assalamu alaikum to my comrades. Revolutionary greetings. On the 53rd anniversary of Republic's Day, I shall recite a poem. This poem is called Unity or Death. Reported live from Hargeisa, the city that gave my mother birth. Here it goes. Some people claim they love home, but they make believers. Cause since they left, they ain't never look back. Cause they really elitists. They got hip to Nike and Adidas. Brainwash in the land where they worship a man named Jesus. In my land, he one of the most quoted prophets in the Quran and we call him Isa. You see the difference, but y'all still American dreaming. I'm dreaming of going back home and starting revolution. So no, there's something deeper to this people's movement. I don't need no Prada, no Gucci, no Benz, no groupies. Just a good wife, some good books, and maybe an Uzi. You think I'm frightened? Nah, homie, I think you frightened. Quick to take a trip to Rome, Paris, or London. You want to take a trip to Rome, Paris, or London? I guess we still colonize. Not politically, but in the mind we're so westernized. I got dreams of completing Ahmed Gure's mission with Muhammad Abdullahi Hassan's ambition. In a land of toxic waste and illegal fishing. Well, you call them pirates, but to us, they just concern citizens with boats and ammunition. And we all wishing for an easy transition from instability to stability, from chaos to tranquility, from stupidity to being the epitome of civility. Inshallah, the Somalis will rise, but not until we open our eyes and realize that we must unite or die. So I got a question to ask before I take this last breath. What's your choice? Unity or death? And that concludes the poem, brothers and sisters. To the young Somali intelligentsia, know that you are the vanguard. Long live the Somali revolution. Assalamu alaikum.